One of my biggest fears in life has always been talking to random people. And it's time to get out of our comfort zone. So today, we're going to be talking to strangers. Talking to strangers can be quite intimidating, especially if you're anything like myself. I'm very weird when it comes to starting random conversations with people that I don't know. I think about going up to people all the time, but I always back out. So I thought I should get over my fear. And what better day than today? Let's go. But before we start, I just have one simple problem. I have absolutely no idea how to go about this. Who do I talk to? Where do I start? Where do I go? So I did what any other person would do. I asked the internet. Okay. Let me say this one time, one time. You make me feel all right. So nice. I know you wanna do one. Say less. You can stay the night. You don't gotta go. We can take this slowly. No need to. So, after the internet, I'm thinking one of two things. I can either jump into the deep end and go talk to a completely random stranger right now, or I can go talk to an old friend and get some advice. And seeing as I have a bit of social anxiety, I think I'm gonna go with option number two. So, let's go meet up with a friend. All right, so basically I have a problem. What's the problem? I'm having trouble talking to strangers or like just starting conversations with random people, right? I want to get over the fear of not being able to talk to just anybody, you know? Okay. So I'm trying to get a little bit out of my comfort zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is why I brought you here. So and why me? This is Odalis. I met her back in high school where we became good friends from working in yearbook together. I met up with her because if there's anything that she knows how to do, it's interact with literally anyone. A lot of people that don't know you because this is your first time in the vlog yeah. ever or videos, you in high school were just talking to every fucking body. <laughs> so you're not afraid. Well, I don't know how you are now, but back in high school, you would just talk to everybody. You just, you know, you say what's up, it's whatever. Because everybody knows Odalis. Yeah, oh you know? yeah. Nah. It's fucking Odalis. <laughs> so True. nobody's scared to talk to you. Nobody's going to say shit if you talk to them, you know? So I don't know how you are now, but like, what advice would you give me if I wanted to just go up to somebody, say somebody over here? I'm not going to do it, by the way, just because it's scary you're scared no <laughs> well, well, what advice would you give me well i mean at the end of the day you got to get over your fear you know like like if you're not getting over your fear if you're not doing the do's then you're just going to be in that same position like i mean it looks like you want to talk to people but it's like something is holding you back yeah. so i i mean the only advice that i feel like just step out your comfort zone and just do it after that conversation i felt like it was a step in the right direction before I jump right in and start interacting with strangers, I need some more practice. So, I got another idea. So you guys are probably wondering what we're doing here today for this video. So, I briefly explained it to Dallas a little bit, but not to anybody else, just because I wanted to be a little bit surprised. So, today, we're gonna be playing a game called the man on the street. I'm gonna be in your ear, or we're all gonna be in your ear. We're gonna send somebody out. As you guys can see, there's a lot of people here today, so this should be <laughs> should be a good video. <laughs> I'm nervous, bro, because this is step one to talking to strangers, all right? Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is you're gonna go over to those people over there. You're gonna ask if you can play Frisbee with them. Can I play Frisbee with you guys? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Cool. Okay, AJ, AJ, whenever it's your turn next, I want you to just throw it over their head. <laughs> Shoot, I went a little too hard. Okay, pretend like you're getting a phone call and then just run away. Just run away. Oh, sorry, I'm getting a phone call. Thank you for letting me play with you guys. Yeah. You should try to like see if somebody will let you ride their bike. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh. Yeah, go, this one ain't working. This go, one ain't working. go up to somebody and be like, can I show you something? And then just do like a 360 jump. Hey guys, can I show you guys something? Sure. Very good. Right. Um. Okay, you see this old man walking over here to your right? The one with the white shirt? Go up to him and be like, can I walk with you? Excuse me? Do you think I can join you on this walk? Sure. 
I'm actually, I'm just going up to the parking lot at South High and okay. that's where I get off. Oh, okay. But well, just a little walk. Oh, sure. Yeah. How are you? I'm well. That's good. How about yourself? Good. It's a beautiful day today. It is a beautiful For a day. walk? I know. I, well, I walk this park every day. I've had for 30 years. Oh, nice. Yep. This is my second walk in here today. I'm oh, no way. Nice. Yep. I already did a walk this morning. And now yeah. This is my... Okay, tell them, no tell them, I'm late for work, and then just run away. Second walk. Nice. I'm late for work. All right. <laughs> I'm fucking crying. So you're going to go to the, the basketball hoop um, on the other side over there, where there's like three people, um, and then just ask them if you can join in their shootout. The next time you get the ball, ask one of them to guard you. And then and then you're gonna try to do a couple moves, get past. Can one of you guys guard me? <laughs> oh, I almost had it. Set it down and then do like a couple jumping jacks and then pick it back up and then just shoot. Hold up. Next time you grab the ball, pretend like you're just gonna run away with it. And then just throw it back and then just come back. Nice. Huh? Laura? <laughs> like, man, that smells real good. Can I have a plate? Say that it smells real good. Can I have a plate? Can I have a plate? Hello, guys. How are you guys doing? Hi. It smells good over here. A little hungry. A little hungry. A little hungry, you know, so I don't know. Just seeing if you guys have an extra plate or something. Just run away. <laughs> hey, yo, excuse me, bro. We're having a little debate, and I'm trying to see if I'm right or he's right. So I'm saying sucking a man's toe ain't gay. He said it is. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. What it is, right? How is it gay? That's like like chewing on your own toe. Now, does that make you gay if you chewing on your own foot? But that's your own foot. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's not what somebody else. Oh my. Okay. Also, but do you do you chew your own toenails? No, nah, I was just I that's was saying. crazy, bro. Um, nah, nah, no, no. Don't, don't get the wrong, you know, perception of me. I don't do that. I appreciate you, bro. <laughs> In life, you have to learn how to step out of your comfort zone. Do things you never thought you would see yourself doing. Basically being comfortable with being uncomfortable. Today made me realize that talking to people isn't as hard as I thought. After all, strangers are just potential new friends waiting for you. It won't matter if someone thinks you're weird for approaching them because chances are you might never see that person again. I feel much more comfortable talking to anyone now as long as I don't think and just do. Go slow it down, you won't make it out alive. City lights and conversations, people you don't like. Waste your nights in 